There are many people who want to know what their purpose is in life. Why do they exist? Well, I've developed a home study course called Positioning the Floor in Your God-Given Purpose. And you'll learn what does God-given purpose mean? What are spiritual gifts? You'll be able to explore and determine your God-given gifts and explore your passions and personality and how to use the greatness that God has deposited in you for God's glory. And you get a free bonus, which is a spiritual gifts test that you can actually take and score to find out specifically what your gifts are. And you can get the home study course by going to my website, wingsoflovewomensministry.org. Click on the shop tab at the top and search for Positioning You, the Flow in Your God-Given Purpose Home Study e-course. And it's only $45. Again, you can go to my website, wingsoflovewomensministry.org. Click on the shop tab at the top and search for Positioning You, the Flow in Your God-Given Purpose Home Study e-course. I know without a doubt, it's going to help you. God bless you. You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry. We are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Unto the Lord, for he is good. When Christians Speak Talk Radio is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry. So all of your gifts to this ministry are tax deductible. So go out to our website www.whenchristianspeak.com and click on our donation page. Hi, welcome to Spiritual Nuggets of Truth, a division of Wings of Love Women's Ministry that broadcasts biblically-based messages that undoubtedly take you to higher spiritual heights. Wings of Love Women's Ministry encourages women to move forward and grow in their personal relationship with Jesus Christ by growing in the knowledge and understanding of the Word of God so they can be healed and restored. We also help women discover and fulfill their God-given purpose so they can minister in their local churches and community. Spiritual Nuggets of Truth with your host, Minister Carmen A. Booker on the When Christians Speak Talk radio network. Today, the message is entitled Sanctification, a Position of Righteousness. Sanctification, a Position of Righteousness. The Hebrew word for sanctify is Kodash, which means consecrate, dedicate, holy, keep, prepare, proclaim, purify, sanctify. The Greek word for sanctify is hagiazo, which means to make holy, purify, or consecrate, be holy. John seventeen fifteen through 19 says, I do not ask that you will take them out of the world, but that you will keep and protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, worldly, belonging to the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them, purify, consecrate, separate them for yourself, make them holy by the truth. Your word is truth. Just as you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And so for their sake and on their behalf, I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified, dedicated, consecrated, made holy in the truth. You know, you have the sanctified ability ready to be activated through the Word of God. That is, you must know, understand, and apply the Word of God in your life. 
you will experience progress in your life when you obey God. You know, James 1, 22 through 23 says, But be doers of the word, and not merely listeners to it, betraying yourselves into deception by reasoning contrary to the truth. For if anyone only listens to the word without obeying it and being a doer of it, he is like a man who looks carefully at his own natural face in a mirror. So be a doer of the word, not just a hearer of the word. Obey what God tells you to do. Go where he tells you to go. When God tells you to do something, there will be people who will try to influence you not to obey. But don't let them do it. Don't let your friends, your family, your associates keep you from obeying God, what God is leading and guiding you to do. Keep on pressing into God and his word. For example, uh, your mother may say, well, we'd like you to go to college and, and um, major in English. But your heart and passion is to become a cosmetologist. So you should pursue cosmetology because that's your heart passion. That's what God is leading and guiding you to do. You know, Psalm 91, 1 through 3 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God on him I lean and rely, and in him I confidently trust. For then he will deliver you from the snare of the fowl and from the deadly pestilence. So it's very important to stay connected to the Word of God. Stay connected to the Word of God. As a matter of fact, I wrote a poem entitled, Stay Connected. I'd like to read it. It goes like this. Stay connected to Jesus Christ even when the winds fall and the valleys run deep. When it seems like all you need is sleep. When it seems there is no way out, trust in Jesus. He is the truth and the way without a doubt. He will shape and mold you all the way through. Just don't give up when you're feeling blue. The trials and tribulations you experience are designed to strengthen your faith and trust in Jesus, the Holy One. So you see, it's very important to stay connected to Jesus Christ because it acts as a, um, a foundation, a rock. When you're experiencing trials and tribulations, when you stay connected to Christ, you become encouraged, you're comforted, and you're able to move forward in your life. But sanctification sets you free from sin. You no longer have a desire to sin. Doing right and living right is the greatest pleasure. Blessed and fortunate and happy and spiritually prosperous are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, that is, uprightness and right standing with God, for they shall be completely satisfied. So when you hunger and thirst for righteousness, to live a life of holiness that glorifies God, then you are free, and you experience true love, joy, and peace. Sanctification activates two shields. It activates the shield of faith and the shield of favor. Again, Sanctification activates two shields, the shield of faith and the shield of favor. The shield of faith is one of those pieces of our spiritual armor that we put on during spiritual battles, spiritual warfare. It is essential in putting out the flaming darts of the wicked, which come in the form of deception and distraction. The Word of God says, Therefore put on God's complete armor that you may be able to resist and stand your ground on the evil day of danger. And having done all, to stand firmly in your place. Stand, therefore, hold your ground, having tightened the belt of truth around your loins, and having put on the breastplate of integrity and of moral rectitude and right standing with God, and having shod your feet in preparation to face the enemy with the firm-footed stability and the promptness and the readiness produced by the good news of the gospel of peace. Lift up over all the covering shield of saving faith, upon which you can quench all the flaming muscles of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword that the Spirit wields, which is the Word of God. Pray at all times, in every season, on every occasion, in the Spirit, with all manner of prayer and any treaty. To that end, keep alert and watch with strong purpose and perseverance, interceding in behalf of the saints. Now, the shield of favor is activated when you are righteous, when you have right standing before God by obeying His Word. Favor means something done or granted out of good will rather than from justice or for remuneration. A kind act, excessive kindness, preferential treatment. That's what favor means. Psalm 512 says, For you, Lord, will bless the uncompromisingly righteous, as with a shield you will surround him with favor. So when God blesses you, he puts a shield of favor around you. And again, favor means something done or granted out of goodwill. A kind act, excessive kindness. Preferential treatment. So these are some things that you will experience when God puts the shield of favor around you. Progressive sanctification can only be brought about by the Holy Spirit. That is, you allowing the Holy Spirit to empower you to obey the Word of God. 
by giving Him control of your mind, your emotions, and body, allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you rather than your thinking, your attitudes, and feelings. And you accomplish this by renewing your mind. We may ask, well, how do I renew my mind? Well, you renew it by what I call the RSM method. R for reading, S for studying, and for meditating. Reading, studying, and meditating on the Word of God. But the Word of God says in Romans, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, fashioned after and adapted to its external superficial customs, but be ye transformed, changed, by the renewing of your mind, by its new ideals and its new attitudes, so that you may prove for yourselves what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God, even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in His sight for you. So that's pursuant to Romans 12, 1 and 2. So it's very important to renew your mind with the RSM method, reading, studying, and meditating on the Word of God on a consistent basis. And I recommend that people read and study and meditate on the Word of God daily. Because the more you read and study and meditate on it, the more you're going to get uh, understanding of the Word of God so that you can apply it in your life. You know, renewing your mind is an ongoing process throughout life. It doesn't happen overnight or in five years. It's a constant daily process. So I challenge you to make a decision to renew your mind with the Word of God and make a lifetime commitment so that your life will be transformed into righteousness. So again, I challenge all the listeners to make a decision to renew your mind. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Read, study, and meditate on it. And make a lifetime commitment so that your life will be transformed into righteousness. Thank you for listening to Spiritual Nuggets of Truth. We hope that you've been encouraged by the message. And I've written a new book to help you discover how valuable you are to God. It's entitled, You Are God's Masterpiece. And I will send you the ebook as a gift when you make a donation to help us to continue to teach the Word of God via radio that's transforming the lives of men and women for the glory of God and helping people move forward and experience healing and restoration, knowing that the good work that God has begun in them, He will complete. It is our way of saying thanks for your partnership in this ministry that is changing lives around the world. Please go to our website, wingsoflovewomensministry.org and click the Donation Partnership tab at the top. Or you can email us at wingsoflove833 at gmail.com. Thank you, and God bless you.